back to mobility project. As you can see, I'm on crutches, and this is a typical position. These aren't my crutches. I mean, they are my crutches. They're for my friends. Every once in a while, an athlete falls into the non-preventative medicine category. Remember, most injuries on most sports injuries, uh, kind of most orthopedic problems are overtension injuries, just the system's too tight, or they're open circuit fault <coughs> injuries, which means my body's looking for stability somehow, and I tweak myself, overextension, overflexion, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Once in a while, it's not pathological. Then the last piece is what we call, what, catastrophic. You know, a 300-pound lineman runs into you. Uh, you're running and you twist an ankle. So let's say they end up on crutches for some reason. And uh, what I see all the time is that we're like, hey, you're a fantastic athlete. We'll rehab you. Here are your crutches. Good luck. Don't wait bare. Don't bend the knee. Whatever it is you got to do. And by the way, those crutches are going to screw you up. So today's MWOD is about uh, kind of lower body thinking for, the, for the, the position. A couple of basic things we need to cover. One is that when you're not weight bearing, you're not weight bearing, that's fine, we understand that. But when you get reduced down to a single crutch or a single cane, for example, remember, the cane and the crutch always goes on the opposite side. So if your in leg is injured on this side, crutch goes on this side. What we don't want to see is you actually stepping up and loading. You'll end up kind of uh, developing a really bad motor pattern, the shoulder's in a bad position. Over the crutch, we see, or on the cane, we see people loading poorly. The crutch goes on the opposite side. This is how you can tell all that mo most medical shows are bull crap because the cane is always on the wrong side. And then what you're trying to do is use the cane or the crutch to unload the injured leg. But here's the deal. So here, I'm spending all this time opening up the, uh, my hips, the athlete, my hips, uh, my athlete's hips. I'm trying to undo this kind of broken hip, butt turned off pattern, ankle is short, quad is short, calf is short, and then I give them these crutches, and for however long it takes, even a week, they practice putting the leg up in front, slightly flexed, ankle is kind of doing its thing, I'm now overextended, the hip is brutally short, and athletes complain about this, the problem is as soon as I'm weight bearing again, I've just practiced being in this position for weeks or even uh, months. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that we're trying to avoid these problems. Understand that this is a movement compromise and that we've got to get you out of this movement compromise. And one of the things I want to see is that if you're walking with the leg behind, that still makes sense mechanically because I'm literally falling forward as I crutch. That's absolutely re reasonable. I like to keep it out in front. I think it's, it's a little bit easier. Oh, look what this is. It's a gymnastics hollow position. In fact, when, you're, when we rest, I want you to stop resting in this kind of broken position, overextended, a little bit short in the hip, and I want you to try to squeeze your butt in the back, whether that foot's on the ground or not, weight bearing or not, but you're going to try to achieve a neutral hollow position. So every chance you get, I want you to try to open up the hip, squeeze the butt, and kind of achieve an upright position, and now I'm working much more towards an athletic experience, an athletic position that doesn't look that much different than my kettlebell swing or my pull or my neutral spine versus having to get out of, oh man, my hip is so short, and I'm walking around destroyed. So when we have athletes on crutches, we're also thinking, God, how do I get in there and mobilize that thing? Because I usually got to respect the knee or respect the ankle. So here's what we're going to do for today's mobility one. When you see an athlete on crutches, they're like, hey, can't bend the knee, what am I going to do? The first thing we go after is all the soft tissue up and downstream of the injury, all the things we can get. Let's say I'm non-weight bearing, uh, my leg has been destroyed, typical toe fracture, they're like, don't bend your leg, Kelly. They're like, no problem. Ball to the butt. So homework number one today is we're going to try to unglue those soft tissues of your butt and hip, much like the shoulder last night. And remember, a couple ways to think about this, find a tight spot, flex the ball out, release, sink through the ball. Flex, sink, and release, so it's a contract, relax, that happens over the ball. Second piece, internally and externally rotate the leg. This would be a tack and stretch model. And then the third model would be just to kind of sandwich back and forth, creating kind of shearing across those tissues. All the way down, insertion, all the way up through the hip, you, it's on you, you've got to find out where you're tight. Let's spend four or five minutes ungluing the leg. Then, how simple is this? Trapped in the airport, want to really smoke that hip. I'm going to put that leg behind me, and certainly this could be done on a table. Imagine that this is my kitchen table. I drop the other leg off. I can protect the leg and hip and start to open up the front. It looks like kind of classic gymnastics control. I can start to push back, but today we're going to just spend some time here. Belly tight, squeeze your butt. 
And we're going to just keep opening that hip up, opening that hip up, pushing further and back, further back, trying to keep belly tight, but squeeze to support the joint and press through. Obviously, if this would hurt your knee, that's why we do it on the table. If it's trashing your ankle, don't do it on the floor. But for you regular, non-crutching people, we want you to just camp out. Oh, look what I've got here. I've got another piece. So I can spend some time alternating between the suffering of the right hip and the suffering of the leg in front. And this ends up being a really nasty, nasty kind of lateral hamstring piece where I can load up here and then sneak back. So camp out, contract, relax, two minutes aside, two minutes kind of forward back. Get on there and don't let your friends destroy themselves on the crutches. We'll see you tomorrow.